One evening, while hanging out in my balcony, an uninvited visitor suddenly appeared which made me scamper into the house. It was a large bee hovering around the light in the ceiling. But this was no ordinary bee. Its scientific name is Apis dorsata breviligula, hope I said it right, <laughs> or commonly known as a Philippine giant honeybee, identified by its large size, measuring about 2 centimeters, and the whitish bands around the abdomen. As the name suggests, it is endemic to the Philippines. I don't know if this is also called Pokyutan in Visaya. The largest honeybee would be the Himalayan giant honeybee, reaching to 3 centimeters in length, while the biggest of all bees is the Wallace's giant bee with a length of 1.5 inches and a wingspan of 2.5 inches. On a side note, this colossal bee was thought to be extinct until it was rediscovered in the remote forest of Indonesia on 2019 by a team led by natural history and conservation photographer Clay Bolton who is also the first ever to capture a photograph of a live Wallace's giant bee. A type of honeybee is also shown in this photo for size comparison. Anyway, bees are vital to the survival of agriculture and probably of mankind. They pollinate one-third of our global food supply, feeding millions of people. <laughs> but not tonight. <laughs> These bees also have a nasty reputation of giving people painful stings if they are provoked or if they feel like their hive is being threatened. And if that wasn't bad enough, another bee showed up. Now it's double the trouble. Well, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Scared, I never went out the house again that evening. On the following night, they were there again in the light. Bees are attracted to light. Was a little bit worried now thinking they might make a new home somewhere around the house. But in the morning, I found two bees lying on the floor. Could they be my nightly visitors? One was dead already and the other one was barely alive. It was moving its body like it's wincing in pain. Oh, poor bee. It took about an hour for the suffering bee to retire permanently. I put it beside the other dead bee with a 1 peso coin for size comparison. For honeybee sizes, they're still huge. To honor these two life-giving critters, I gave them a proper burial, thanking them for pollinating our plants and crops, and then said my goodbyes and hoping not to see their kin buzzing again in my porch. <laughs> and now we know that bees are also attracted to light. But what caused their deaths remains a mystery. Thank you for watching. See you in my next story.